think I'm cheesy To do the whole town kinda sounded too easy Started out as a prank, but then got way out of hand See, now the whole town's shouting, hey, what's with Andy? I'm the best, I'm the greatest, joke of the What's with Andy? What, what's with Andy? I'm a trick playing Some people might call me obsessed. See, I've got this thing about not turning down a challenge. Right now, though, I'm on kind of a roll. <laughs> but maybe I'll let you decide. <sighs> is it on? Rolling. Hi, I'm Andy Larkin, and this is my story. Born of humble beginnings in small suburban East Gackle. It's only a four-hour tape. Right, sorry. Where was I? <clears throat> As a joke artist, a prankster extraordinaire, if you will, I won't. I give you this gift. My video diary. A day in the life of the genius of jokes. A sneak peek into the secret world of the perfectly hilarious. An inside view into the... Aha! <laughs> Let me remind you that I got up at 7 a.m. on Saturday for this. Have I ever let you down? Wait, don't answer. Jen's coming, quick! It's go time! This is gonna be great! Get out of the way! You're in the shot! Wait, something's wrong. I'll say. When's the last time you washed your pajamas? Hmm. Just what do you think you're doing? Morning, Dorco. Care for some breakfast? Ew, you smell weird. That's not the issue. What gives? Please, dweeb. Putting milk in the orange juice is so lame. You've become predictable. Predictable? Yeah, it's pretty pathetic, not to mention passé. Let me tell you, Andy Larkin may be a lot of things, but there is no way that I'm predictable. You've been spying on me. As if. The truth is, you're played out and you don't even know it. Turn, turn it off. No way, this is good stuff. Come on, this may not be my best work, but this is good stuff. Face it, your history. Everybody knows it. You've become a joke to the entire town. That's the whole point. Too bad no one's laughing. But face it, freak. You couldn't think of a new prank to save your life. I've got nothing left to pull. Maybe I am done. Pull your finger, Andy. Get real, I've got more pranks than there are people in this whole town. Prove it. Jim, uh, could you step over here? The lighting's much better. Sure. Knock it off. <coughs> well, that's how it all started. No way I can back down from here. All right, sis, here's the deal. If I can do a new prank to each person that talks to me, then I win and you have to do a cheer in my honor in front of the whole town. Huh? <laughs> Get over yourself. What if you lose? If I lose, I'll never pull another prank. Never? Never? But what'll I do? That's my final answer. Ooh, you are so on. It starts now and it isn't over till tonight. Danny has to record the whole thing. This is gonna be awesome. I think I'm gonna need more tape. Gosh, you're up early. Nice to see you're getting along. Okay, Danny, if I can pull this off, it's gonna make history, but I'm gonna need all your help plus some supplies. Like a whole bucket of crazy. Well, it wouldn't hurt. Come on. Uh. Follow my lead. Greetings, fellow East Gackalites. 
Care to join me on my brisk morning speed walk? Hello? It's me, Martin, from school. Oh, hey, Martin. <laughs> Didn't realize you were there. Well, duh. The sun is reflecting off of my matter, thus proving my existence. Hey, Martin. Can you keep a secret? Boy, can I? See this? Uh-huh. I love butterscotch, too. No, way better than that. It's too risky, Andy. We shouldn't tell him. Yeah, maybe you're right. Oh, man, come on. Please, please, please. I swear on my stamp collection, I won't tell a soul. Okay, check this out. This is an Invisipil. Danny and I got the ingredients through a secret spy lab mail order catalog. That's remarkable. I was recently debating the potential for invisibility with the... Anyway, we only had enough ingredients to make one. Danny and I can't decide who should get the honor because we both want to be there to witness it. Holy macaroni, I'll do it! Please let me do it! Good luck, bold adventurer. <laughs> Martin? Martin? <gasps> Where'd you go, Martin? Is it working? Is it working? Oh, I can't believe it! It really works! We better get on that patent. I'm invisible. I'm invisible! I'm gonna go show Mother. Check, Check please. Hey, fellas. Staying out of trouble? Uh, never mind. Don't answer that. There's some kid riding around out front in his underpants, and I'd rather not know any more than that, okay? Don't worry about me, Dad. I'm in the middle of something big. Come on, I got a great idea. Can we afford all this? No, but I think I have a prank that can help us. Good morning, Miss Wilmer. You're looking dashing today. Is that a new hairstyle? Oh, Andy, no need to kiss up. There'll be no quiz on Monday. You know, you've always been my favorite teacher. I think you're kind, nurturing, and fair. It's a shame you never married and had kids of your own. You're awfully sweet, Andy, but some people were meant for other things. I'm a teacher. And a darn good one. I've always thought of you as a second mother, Ms. Wilmer, especially since my mom has been so busy preparing for the pie bake. Could you do me a favor? When I check out, could you just wave at me and say, bye, son? <laughs> it would really make me feel loved. Oh, I don't know. Doesn't seem right. Please. Bye, son. Bye, Mom. That'll be 48.23. What? For diet gum? There must be a mistake. The gum is 75 cents, but your son said you pay for his things, too. My son? I don't have any mini mischief makers. Look at me. You just wave goodbye to him. Oh, I've got $48 worth of erasers that need cleaning with Larkin's name on them. Hello, ma'am. This is Buford from the Department of Attic and Static Detection. I need you to go on up to your attic and see if your hair gets all frizzy. But why? It's for your family's safety. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? I'm on my way. Swift action, bro. But don't think you're a winner yet. Give it a rest, sis. I got a ton of pranks up my sleeve, and I'm showing no signs of weakness. Huh. We'll just see about that. Oh, by the way, Lori called. Said she wanted to talk to you. Bye, Mom. Oh, and by the way, Andy's home. Later, Buckethead. All right. Did you hear that? Lori called me. And you'd like to prank her how? Hmm. Yeah, good point. She's not so big on the pranks. Today, I need a Lori free day. Andy, I'm glad you're back. I need you to help me set up at Town Hall. H hello Buford? Oh! Beware the invisible rider! Woohoo! So far, so good. I just got confirmation for your dad's beanstalk. This is gonna be great. I can't wait to hear Jen cheer when I finally show her up. Ready? Okay! Tornadoes cause disaster, but Andy's brain works faster. He has no fear, that's why we cheer Andy, the Franken master. Andy, can you get me a chair for the pie bake voting area? 
Sure thing, Mr. Hutchins. It's a little tricky. You might want to be careful. Oh, nonsense, Andy. I'm a professional educator. I can handle a simple folding chair. <laughs> a little help, please? <laughs> Lori at 12 o'clock. If she talks to me, I'll have to prank her. Huh? Hey, Andy, wait up. Hey, Andy! You're gonna have to talk to Lori sooner or later. Later's good. I like later. <gasps> oh! Hello there, Andy. I was just on my way to vote on bigger executive bathrooms for the mayor's office. Uh, Mayor Roth. Hi. Uh... The town needs you. There's a junior UN summit in crisis. You have to call this number and speak to Gregory Raff. Oh, he goes by G. Oh, uh, uh, really? Well, uh, I'm always willing to lend my expertise. This is the mayor calling for a G. Raff. Could you please put Mr. G. Raff on the phone there? Hey, somebody remind me to vote for this guy when I'm old enough. All right, whatever you say. You're the mayor. <laughs> We're rocking now. Hey, everybody, this is Supersonic Shane supplying you with all the jam for the Big Pie Bake, so stop on by. Is he talking to me? I think so. Mommy! Rabies! Rabies! Quick, somebody, give him out, come out! I'm gonna make sure someone on the football team blubbles you for this freak! <laughs> He stuck me with his grocery bill! It took me an hour to get out of a chair! He got Mr. Beansy stuck to my hand! That can't be good. He lives by day, completely undetectable to the human eye! The amazing invisible rider! This is a prime opportunity to pummel those dweebs without anyone stopping us. Oh, yeah. Uh, who? I thought Terry was gonna pass out right in front of you. I do have that effect on the ladies. Speaking of ladies, here they are. We've been, you know, looking for you two. You must have done something pretty stupid to make everyone in the entire town get their socks in a tangle. We're the, you know, new discipline committee, so get ready for a thunder wedgie. How'd you like free milkshakes instead? Prepare for pain, dweebs. Yeah. Thick, creamy, chocolatey milkshakes? Ooh, I want a chocolatey milkshakes. Ah, uh, all right. Deal. Gibby! Not so fast. How can we trust you not to chase us once we've given them to you? I can't move! It'll spill! Hey, you can't leave us like this! We're gonna get you, fart munchers! Enjoy your milkshakes! That was close, but worth it. Sounds like a victory song to me. You've suddenly become the most popular guy in town. And not in a good way. Uh-oh, it's Lori again. Hey, Andy! She's still looking for you. I know, and if I prank her, she's not gonna want to go to the pie bake with me tonight. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Way to state the obvious. This is really uncomfortable. Come on, let's get out of here. Whew, that was close. All right, you two. Hands on the hood. You know the drill. What seems to be the problem, officers? What we have here is a situation. Seems there's been a lot of pranking-like commotion happening today. Really? Danny, have you seen any <gasps> pranking around here? Nope. We've just been walking around and, uh, whistling all morning. What do you make of this, Pop? Looks like some kind of funnel device. All right, Larkin, start talking. That's part of an extreme coordination test. Here, watch. I'll demonstrate. Careful now, we're armed.
<laughs> See? It really takes an amazing level of head-to-pants coordination. Ah, oh, heck. I bet I could do that. Give me that funnel. I'd be careful if I were you. It's a lot harder than it looks. On three. One, two, and three. <laughs> Sorry we have to be leaving, but we have to help out at the pie bake. Good luck finding that prankster. <laughs> boy, oh boy, you look silly. <laughs> Hey, what'd you do that for? Beware! The Invisible Rider strikes again! <laughs> we have to create a diversion. I got it! Hey, Dad! Phone! Well, I didn't hear any phone ring. Uh, hello? Uh, please hold for an extremely important call. What is this? I'll get it! Right on time. Quick, bring it around back. Oh, for the love of toast. What could be so important? Perfect! And now for the final touch. I'll forget it. <gasps> Holy magical beans! <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast, little bro. I hope you know the entire town is after you. You know why? Because you're about to lose our little game. I think not. Oh, by the way, you forgot something. What? Well, look who it is. Andy, I've been trying to catch up with you all day. You wouldn't be avoiding Lori for any reason, would you? Uh... Hey, Lori. Well? Jan, don't you have homework to triple check? Ha! <laughs> and miss this. Andy, why is everyone acting so strange today? I have no idea. Oh, hey, uh, what's this? Oh, come on, Andy. I'm not falling for that old trick. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, gee, hey, is uh, <clears throat> that a henway in your hair? All right, so now I'm supposed to ask what's a henway, and then you'll say, oh, three or four pounds, right? Look, I was hoping you'd want to hang out at the pie bake tonight, but if you want to pull silly pranks all day, then I'll just go with Jervis. Ah, Jervis Coltrane. No way am I going to let that little punk eat pie with Lori. Think, Andy, think. Perfect. No, Lori, wait. I really do want to go with you. I'm kind of tied up. How about I meet you there at 6.30? All right, great. See you then. Bye. Aw, oh, that was sweet. Too bad you couldn't prank her, and that makes me the winner. Well, it's been nice watching your dreams go down in flames. I'm not sunk yet. I've still got until tonight. Sounds like we should get out of here, Andy. Good point. See you at the pie bake, sis. Can't wait to watch you fail at your last prank ever. Man, I hope you know what you're doing. That never stopped me before. When I get my hands on that Larkin boy... Oh! You'll have to wait until I'm done with him first. We'll take the remains and pound them to oblivion. Look up at the sky, Lori. You're not going to tell me some silly joke about Uranus, are you? Of course not. That's just a large mass of hot gas. I just thought you'd want to see what I see, because every time I look at you, I see stars in your eyes. Aw, oh, Andy, you're so sweet. Hold that thought, and I'll go get us some pie. That's it, sis. Time's up. Victory is mine. So sorry, loser. Hold on there, creep. You didn't prank everybody you spoke to today. Huh? What are you talking about? Me. Me! You haven't tricked, pranked, ripped off, bamboozled, or embarrassed me all day! <laughs> I win! I win and you lose! Is that what you think? Face reality, dog breath. You lost, so you can kiss your annoying pranks goodbye. There's Andy! Get him! Give us a Frank, sis, I couldn't have done it without you. There he is! Somebody get him! Uh oh, time to split this party. 
Uh oh! Martin, look out! Oh no, my invisibility must be wearing off! Look out! <laughs> you know, I never really liked Pi. But at least I beat Jen. His pranks are really slick. He pulls off any trick. When it comes to jokes, he really smokes. I think I will be sick.